200 million children suffer from rare genetic disease, and half of those are neurological. Based on our research, most of these diseases are ultra rare. Companies are not developing treatments for these diseases, even though a treatment may be possible. Music was my life. I poured my soul into every song I wrote and toured the world. But when my youngest daughter Rose was diagnosed with an ultra rare neurological disease, everything changed. There was no treatment, there was no cure. Just a devastating disease and a desperate father's hope. I had to do something. So I left my career for a lab full of incredible scientists, driven by a love stronger than any song. That's how Alpha Rose was born. I'm Alan Waltz. I'm a biotech executive. I've been working in this business for more than 40 years. I've spent a lot of my career at Genzyme working in the rare disease and the genetic disease space. A lot of what drives me is to find and develop and bring new therapies to patients. The pharma business is not so good at developing and commercializing products for genetic diseases where there are fewer patients. And that's really a big problem in the industry today. We're here to fix that. We think there is a need and an opportunity to develop new therapies for genetic diseases, but actually to bring those to patients. I met my late husband, Henry Tremere, at Genzyme Corporation, and we felt that the orphan disease space was so important because it was one patient, one child, who had this very devastating disease, and you could see that Genzyme's drug made a difference in this child's life. Technologies exist, the science exists, the patients are out there, but the business model does not exist today, and we're here to build that model. Our goal is to develop multiple treatments for ultra-rare diseases and strive to ensure these therapies reach patients worldwide. I'm excited about uh, ASO technology because it allows us to control gene expression. It's a designer platform. It, quite literally, you can sit down on a computer and you can create precision medicine that can then be synthesized by any number of laboratories and tested for efficacy and safety and toxicity, almost, almost turnkey in regards to the technological development. Big Pharma is not focused on these diseases, and some biotechs are, but there's 10,000 orphan diseases, and if we can make a difference in any patient's lives, then I think it is our responsibility to do so. My name is Robert Cabrera. Masako Nakamura. My name is Belinda Tamir. I'm Alan Walt. I'm Casey McPherson. We are offering you a chance to invest in an opportunity to change medicine for children like Rose. Rosa Furson is an ASO that we've developed in order to decrease the expression of HNR and PH2. Uh, this therapeutic strategy is effective because we also have a gene that will compensate, which is referred to as HNR and PH1, for the loss of HNR and PH2. So we can knock down HNR and PH2 with rosafersin and ultimately provide compensation endogenously through HNR and PH1. Our next step with rosafersin is to advance it into IND enabling studies. I am so excited about the impact we can make for diseases that cause autism, special needs, and other neurogenetic conditions in children. I'm excited to give kids and families like mine hope. Patience. 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 Patience are waiting.